Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by a man who's wearing two hats, Oleg Logvinov, who is a chair of IEEE Internet Initiative and also CEO of IOTECA. Now, I know that IEEE is a contributing sponsor to WISIS. So can you explain to me uh, what do you hope will come out of this forum? Well, first of all, it is my pleasure to be here. To IEEE, it's very important to further the benefits of technology for humanity. And what WISIS is doing with regards to helping society and population worldwide to connect to the information society and transition from where we were before to the society powered by the information is actually among the important goals that we set for ourselves as well. So being here is very natural for us and supporting all of the SDGs is very natural for us. It's a great synergy. We enjoy the great benefit of interacting with the founders of WISIS, with all of the participants, with the communities that surrounds WISIS. And we're part of it and would like to expand the reach of the goals that we're trying to support. There are 17 sustainable development goals. Everybody is saying that information communication technology cross-cuts all of those 17 goals. How do you see ICTs helping us develop, helping us actually get sustainable development? Well, it's simply foundational. If you think about Internet of Things, look at what benefits Internet of Things brings today to the society. Through so the cross-domain interaction, we're starting to see the benefits and economic impact that we haven't seen before. As an example, who would have thought about using a device like Fitbit, as an example, to monitor the health and fitness of a worker on the oil rig to perform certain tasks? Probably a couple of years ago, you would have looked at me and said, this is crazy. But this is actually a reality. We're getting into the world where actually technology is developed as an example for consumer market or developed for medical applications, start to meld with typical operational technologies and create the benefits that we haven't seen before. I'll give you another very simple example where cross-cutting through the domains creates something amazing. If you haven't seen Dubai, it's an amazing place where the construction is going at the pace unseen anywhere else in the world. And one of the examples that absolutely stunned me was a startup company that figured out a way to manage a building material lot in the ways that hasn't been done before. As you can imagine, if you have a lot of materials coming in and coming out of the lot, it's very logistically challenging to locate where the new pile arrived and where you need to dispatch somebody. What they've done is very simple. When something comes in, they label it with RFID, and then they use drones that fly over the lot to map effectively where it is right there. So they don't have to think about where to drop a lot. They don't have to think about where to send somebody to pick it up. It's all automatically on the map. So we use technologies such as drones, such as imaging cameras, that are very well known and it's in existence. But melding them together for logistics management application creates a benefit that you probably would not have thought about several years ago. That is exactly what IAT and information technology can bring to us. And that's what IOTECA is aiming to do too? Well, we're part of the solution. A small part, but I hope a successful one. IAT is a tremendously important and tremendously large subject. IAT is something that crosses across many, many disciplines, many, many verticals. And what we need today is a foundational information technology. One word I will give you, convergence. IoT is a convergence of old-style operational technologies world with a new ICT-based world. Melding them together, we create IoT, we create this new information society-driven world. And that is why things like WISIS, forums like WISIS, are very, very important because that's what helps us to further the understanding of what technologies, what policies, and more importantly, what interaction of technology and policies we need. You probably noticed that my title is a chair of IEEE Internet Initiative. The title may be slightly misleading, but this initiative is focused on bringing together policy developers and technology developers. So when policy makers can understand better what technology's capabilities are, and technology developers can better understand what policies demand in a world which is, can be described in the easiest way with the technology that doesn't know any borders. Bits and bytes don't know any borders, right? What we know is that they can penetrate everywhere. 
and we would hope that we would connect everybody. But policies and rules are sometimes very much localized and sometimes even not at the level of the country, it goes down to the county level, to the state level, to the facility, locale level. We need to understand all of those interactions so we can create actually technologies that power the future. Oleg Logvinov, Chair of the IEEE Initiative, CEO of iTECA, thank you very much for joining us this it afternoon. It is my pleasure. And please do tune in to the ITU YouTube channel where you will see many of the interviews that we're doing with experts like Oleg this week at the WISIS Forum 2016.